am going to be doing my March TBR. Like I said in my February wrap-up, I actually have a set list of books that I want to read this month, or a set pile that I will be choosing books from to read this month, instead of just randomly picking them off my shelf. No, this month, this month, I have books in a pile that I want to read. What's with this dramatic hair flipping? Anyways, let's do this. Got my army pants on. I'm ready to go. First, I'm going to mention the books I'm currently reading. They're like downstairs somewhere in my school bag, so I'm not going to get them. They are The Magic of Reality by Richard Dawkins and A Briefer History of Time by Stephen Hawking. I plan to finish these this month. I started them in February. They're two science books. They're both really great in their own different ways, and I really love them, so I'm super excited to finish them. So now I'll show you the books that I plan to read this month. One of them I'm currently reading along with the other two science books. I'll show you that first. So I never hauled this, but I'm going to show you it's now anyways, and that book is Me Being Me is Exactly as Insane as You Being You by Todd Hasek Lowey. Now you might think, I have never seen that book in my life. And you know why? Because it's not in stores yet. It doesn't come out till April 2015. I was sent this by Simon & Schuster for review. It's my first ever book for review, and I can honestly say I'm freaking ecstatic. I'm page 50, and I started this today. It's a really quick read. I barely read it. But I still finished 50 pages because it's a novel told entirely in lists, which I think is really interesting. And I'm really liking how it's written so far. It's a very enjoyable book so far. And I will have a full spoiler-free review up on my channel of this book, so you can look forward to that in the future. Next, I have two books I will definitely be reading this month. And the first one is... The Diviners by Libba Bray. My friend and I are going to be doing a buddy read on this. So we're both going to be reading this book this month and then we're going to discuss it together. I've been dying to read this book for a while and I'm just excited to finally have a chance to get into this book. And yes, it sounds good. It sounds paranormal. And I think I'm in the mood for some paranormal, so this should be good. Next, I have Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lanny Taylor, the third and final book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I've been raving about this trilogy on my channel for like the past, like, five or six months and it's about time I finally read the conclusion. I read the second book back in January. The reason I haven't finished this series is because I don't want it to end. I've owned the book but I just haven't read it because I don't want it to end yet but I can always reread it if I really love it that much which I do. But it's time to finally finish the series. It's a big chunker book so yes but I think I'll whip through this because I love Lanny Taylor's writing and her worlds are just so fun to be in and they're so great and I can't wait to get into this book. Got a bunch of chunky books this month, don't I? Including the one I'm currently reading. Next I'm going to show you the three books I plan to read during the Swinter Readathon. I'm going to go through these like super super quickly because uh, the, I'm going to mention these in my Swinter TBR, so yes. But those three books are Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, and This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. Next, I'm definitely going to be reading Fire With Fire by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian, the second book in the Burn For Burn trilogy. I'm super excited to read this. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say. I'm really excited to read this book. I think it's going to be great. These last two books are like maybes, because I'm not sure if I'll get to them, but... I do really want to read both of them. And the first one is In the Afterlight by Alexander Bracken. The Darkest Minds is one of my favorite trilogies so far, but I still haven't finished it, and I definitely need to before I forget everything, which I kind of already have, but I'll just be using Recaptains, which, like, tells you the plot and, like, what goes on in the book. Yeah, I'll leave a link to their page down below. It's actually pretty helpful. I've never really used it, but, like, I looked around for this book on it and it's made me remember some stuff or it's probably will because I haven't really looked at it yet. But yes, I'm probably going to use that because I don't have the time to reread the whole series before I get into this book. But like I said, super excited to get into this one. Next, if I'm feeling like a contemporary book, I have Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. These books are so hyped up. Like all the books by Colleen Hoover, everyone has read one and everyone loves them. I really do want to read this because I feel like it's going to be a nice kind of contemporary with a deeper plot and I just think I'm really going to enjoy this. So yes, if I don't get to this month, which I don't think I will, it's probably lower on the priority list, I will just renew it from the library and read it in April. So you're either going to see this in my March wrap-up or April TBR, but I'm leaning towards April TBR. So those are all the books I want to read during the month of March. Don't forget to add me as a friend on Goodreads because I love talking to you guys. And please, please join this winter readathon. I would love to connect with I would love to connect with you guys and just 
for you to join my readathon would be amazing because I could watch all your videos and watch you do the video challenges and see what books you're reading. And I will also have some video recommendation books up for the winter winter readathon. I promised you guys I'd have those up and I will probably next week or later on this week. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.